Hey folks, so if you're interested in using a generative artificial intelligence tool like ChatGPT, but don't have to keep switching between the tabs on your browsers all the time, what you can do is use a browser like I am right now, which is Microsoft Edge. And the reason for that is that AI is baked into the Edge browser. And you may be aware that Microsoft have a stake in OpenAI, who are the creators of ChatGPT, which means you can use GPT technology in Edge. So what you can do on the top right hand side of your screen, you've got this little blue Bing bar and you can see it come up already. So what I'm able to do is click that and then I've got three options. I've got chat, I've got compose, so I can, can help me compose emails or you can see blog posts, ideas, paragraphs, or I can use insights as well and get insights on my current web viewing experience. But in chat, what I want to do is to engage with ChatGPT or ChatGPT4. So I can do that by choosing a conversational style of more creative. And I can very simply say here to Chat GPT, you know, I need help sending an email to my manager to request holiday. Can you create a first draft for me? And what that allows you to do is if you have any ideas at that moment in time, you can talk to Chat GPT within your browser. And you can see here already. So GPT comes back and it gives you an answer in terms of working on an email to send to your manager, which is pretty good, right? And again, you can use Compose, should you wish to, to do anything really. So if you've got any ideas when you're working, when you're browsing, you know, if you're whatever you're doing and you want to find out more about something, you can just interact with chat GPT in this way. So hopefully that's helpful. And I'm not a salesman from Microsoft, but I really do recommend the Edge browser. I will talk to you in the next one, folks.